Wise was the one who said, those who do the paperwork make the rules. And on a film set, the first assistant director is that person. Many people think the director is in charge of running the set, but no, it is the first assistant director. The first assistant director is there to answer the questions when people come up and ask, well, what time are we getting there? Where are we filming? What time is lunch? Are we incurring meal penalties? What time is wrap? They're there so that they can confidently answer all of those questions with, did you read your call sheet? Follow me as I go and talk to our first assistant director and her natural pre-production habitat. Rebecca, if you could introduce yourself and tell us about your job. Uh, my name is Rebecca Stout. I am the first assistant director for Treasure Lies. I've been working on films since I was 19 years old. Just got hooked and uh, I've been doing it ever since. I primarily do AD work, um, but I'm also producing and directing a documentary right now. Cool. So tell us about what the first assistant director does on set. So on set, the first AD uh, typically is the one who is going to run the set. Um, so my voice is the one that you'll hear a lot all throughout the day, telling everyone where they need to go, what they need to do. Um, I'm always watching the clock because one of my responsibilities is to make sure that we make our day every single day. We get every shot that we need, every scene is done um, as efficiently and safely as possible. So as the first AD, how do you prepare for your job on set in pre-production? Yeah, pre-production is a huge, huge part and it's one of the easiest places to sort of cut corners because you can get so excited about the production phase of things. Um, but I really, really value pre-pro. Um, love it when everybody is doing that and making sure that we're doing everything that we can to make sure that we don't have unnecessary mix-ups and, and uh, things like that happen while we're on set. Obviously, things are always gonna happen on set. You have to roll with the flow, you have to call an audible, do something different, but always have to go in with a plan already in place and then we can tweak it from there. So my biggest responsibility in pre-pro um, is probably I'm, I'm just the one that makes the actual schedule. So I figure out which uh, scenes we're gonna shoot on which day. So I get with the producers to find out which locations we have. I have to figure out the different parameters. Um, you know, we can only shoot at this location on a Sunday. This actor availability is only Tuesday and Thursday. So I gather all of those parameters and with that information then create uh, a schedule that best fits all of those parameters. We've all traveled many, <laughs> many miles to get here. Mm -hmm. How far away did you come from? So my home base is Florida, so I drove straight out here from the Orlando area in Florida, but I actually don't spend all that much time in Florida because there's this thing called Hotel Prius. A Hotel Prius started just as a way to kind of get me between film projects, but I have actually been to all 48 contiguous states by living out of my car, and, and that's how I came up with the name. Ah, uh, Hotel Prius. We actually have archive footage we're gonna play now. Roll film. <laughs> John? John, roll film. Come on, John, roll film. But I never get cold when it's you at home. This is Hotel Prius. This car's taken me to all 48 contiguous states. We've seen a lot together. We've been through a lot. Indeed. Show us the features. All right, well, first, first and most important is the bed. Got nice, nice padding and everything. Have all my cooking supplies here, a little butane stove, um, 12 volt cooler, a little closet, all my hanging clothes just right in there. It's about all you need. How many miles do you have on this? I have 188,000. She's just getting started. I am just getting started. There's not really words to describe just what it's like to sit in that driver's seat. The raw power that you have, nothing sums up the American spirit like Hotel Prius does. So Rebecca, for those of our audience who are out there who have no idea what you do, <laughs> could you share some of the magic with, <laughs> some more of the magic with people? What, you mean not everybody aspires to be a first assistant director? Well, Indeed. it's job security, I suppose. I know. So, um, when I am putting the schedule together, first what I have to do is I go through the entire script and I do a script breakdown. So I go scene by scene, 
and I just analyze everything. Um, so I separate it into story days. Um, I separate it and figure out which characters are in which scenes. Each character gets an assigned number. And then there's also all sorts of information like whether or not the scene is happening at day, it, during the day or at night. It's happening interior or exterior. All of this information gets broken down and categorized. And then I take that information and I can order the scenes on any given uh, shoot day to make sure that we're doing it as best as possible. So we may be at one location all day long, but we're filming eight different scenes that happen at that location. And we're not doing it in order most of the time. We are jumping all over the place. So what I wanna make sure is that we're not inside and then outside and then upstairs and then downstairs and then over in this corner. Um, I wanna make sure that everything is consolidated as much as possible and so everything is ordered so that everything just moves like clockwork. So Can basically, we? Rebecca is the person who holds the whole set together. <laughs> so everybody needs to come up and thank Rebecca and give her a hug because she's awesome. <laughs> get to work. <laughs> uh, okay. So if you like Prius's scheduling and things going smoothly and aren't a psychopath, then you should like and share our post and go and like our page because now you know and knowing is half the battle. See you later kids. Okay, I think we got it. We got it? Did we get it? Uh, I think we got it. I think we got it. That's All good. Right, that's, I think, I think we, can we cut now? Okay, we're good. <laughs> right, my face hurts.